Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Nina. Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you're doing well. Let's talk about airdrop updates. As you know, LC has done their airdrop and this was for both testnet and mainnet user. You just have to add the contract address into your Blast wallet and you will be able to see your allocation. Otherwise, if you don't add a contract address, you will not see it. So make sure you are on the Blast network and adding the contract address, which we will find in the video description below. The other thing to keep in mind is that they have enabled staking. However, the staking is on Ethereum mainnet and not on the Blast. So you have to either purchase there or swap or bridge it somehow. So up to you if you want to stake, but the staking APR is pretty good. The next one is Jumper, which is a swap and bridge. And they have a point system, which means they will do an airdrop very soon. If you want to do the swapping, which is fine, but if you just are relying on a swapping, you will not accrue points quickly. However, with bridging, we are paying much more fees and that's why you will get much more points. Anyhow, if you are swapping between Ethereum and Wrap Ethereum on scroll, there will be zero slippage, zero fee and zero um, basically downtime. But keep in mind, a lot of people do this kind of swap to increase the volume, especially for when you are farming on layer 2. Because Ethereum and Wrap Ethereum seems very similar or if you are swapping between stable itself, uh, some of these layer 2 airdrops do not count those transactions. So keep in mind, if you want to do some swap here and there to increase the volume, it is fine, but don't hold me responsible if they, that is not a part of the criteria. Uh, there is no referral link, but you can join the Jumper exchange from this link right here. Now, talking about Jumper, we have the bridge. They also started their point system, which is retrogated. So if you're using it for a longer period of time or earlier, you have a little bit boost, but starting from now onwards, you will get points based on the basically the bridging you are doing. You don't get the points for swaps, you are getting the points for bridging from one network to another network. And it will tell you how much points you are getting. Now, the few things that I have noticed with deep bridges is that if you are trying to bridge a larger amount of uh, assets, let's say one Ethereum, it really doesn't matter. The best and the sweet spot is between 0 0.01 Ethereum. So if you are swapping that, the point will remain the same. Doesn't matter how large is a transaction. In fact, if you're trying to bridge a larger transaction, you are paying actually more fee and the points you are getting will be the same. So it is up to you to, if you are just using it organically, then it really doesn't matter to you, I guess. But if you're just doing it to increase the volume or to add the points XP, then you have to be sure that you are not just bridging large volume. The number of transactions really matters because they are charging you a fee for every transaction and how much gas you are paying towards that gas fee, that's where you get the points. So if you are swapping and paying more gas fee, you will get more points. So between the different chains, you have to see which one will be more lucrative in the sense that you are pay making more money for them and also getting more XP points. I hope this is clear. So um, if you have any questions, let me know. I have a video coming up where we all will be talking about which is the more optimal route. All right, the next one is Parcel. They have finalized the point system now. You can check the leaderboard ranking and they also took this snapshot, uh, which was on April 8th. And they wanted to see if you are loyal to them, if you have kept your TVL in level season two and uh, season three. If you did, you get a little bit boost of 25%. Moving on to Zero Land. Zero Land is going to make announcement on April 29th. Seems like it will be an update on the airdrop news. Hopefully, finger crossed. Mystico Network, I have talked about it earlier too, and they have a Galaxy campaign and they have published this article. So complete the Galaxy campaign, do the online activities, as well as social media stuff, like join the Discord, higher levels you have in the Discord, and it will help you get a better airdrop. So this is about it. I'm quite bullish on this myself. That's why you will find me talking about it here and there. Uh, even though not a lot of people are looking into it, even if you look at the Galaxy campaign, which I want to show you. If you look at the campaigns, they have two, one on Ethereum, and now you can see there are only 311 participants because Ethereum gas fees. And then we have less than 3,000 participants on uh, the other network like BNB, Polygon, Avalanche, and Base. This one is quite underperformed. But the barrier to entry is the funds. You need at least $110 to get started. The next one, Bear Chain Honey Jar Quest. 
these are the community projects and there are a few quests you have to join retweet like stuff like that there is no guarantee that you will get an airdrop and also bear chain is very very heavily farmed but just to in increase interaction and just in case somehow these community projects um, come out to be a winner um, I think it's fine to do these activities so this one is going to end in a few days so if you want to do it do it now all right now talking about swell and level two their level two pre-launch deposits are live so now you can go ahead and deposit there and start earning points and they are going to help you share one million eigen layer points which is good now on swell l2 you have different projects they are iron protocol ambient finance brahma and a few more so you can get an airdrop from those projects as well as well and then you will get airdrop in q3 when swell actually launches and you have to keep your asset locked till then i'm sure by now you already have heard about margin file today is a lot of drama going on and then the tvl of margin file just went down a lot of people are withdrawing from margin file and depositing into soul land because soul land said if you are going to uh, withdraw from uh, margin file and deposit with soul land we are going to give you an airdrop keep in mind soul land already have a token this one is interesting i do not talk about soy too much and this is a gaming device a handheld web3 device it is a wait list is open right now so all you have to do is go to this link and just put in your email address and you will be set as a part of the wait list i don't know the price they have not shared too much details about it but this could be an interesting thing and right now only thing you have to do is put it put down your email address to be in the wait list and that's all for today I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see you soon. Happy investing!